Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, the chief, AKA the chef, AKA chief cat's dad, bringing you another video on Brawl Stars, where today we're going to be playing with the three legendary brawlers inside of the entire game. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about how to get them. Now, first and foremost, if you guys want to unlock these brawlers, there's one easy way to get it done by sliding your credit card right here. But of course, you don't always have to slide your credit card to unlock every single brawler inside of the game. In fact, for out of all the Supercell games, I would have to say that Brawl Stars definitely is the most free to play friendly uh, out of each and every one that they have and in order to get these legendary brawlers you actually have to open up a lot of chests but over time as you open up more and more boxes not chests i'm sorry you're going to get a better and better chance of unlocking each legendary card now inside of brawl stars it actually has a weird formula to the more the more boxes that you open where you don't get a legendary brawler the next box actually has a more significant chance until you finally end up getting that legendary brawler now for me if you're willing to spend a little bit of money on the game the best way to unlock these brawlers is with special offers they have in the shop on the left hand side you can see right now they have a token doubler token doubler offer for 69 gems very strange that uh, they actually have right there but you can get the brawlers for a discounted price rather than opening up a billion mega boxes and boxes inside of brawl stars and in my opinion that's the best way if you want to spend a little bit of gems to end up unlocking them it ends up being way cheaper than opening up a ton of boxes to try to unlock leon like me i spent a couple hundred dollars unlocking leon and the next day they had an offer in the shop where he was like 20 bucks or something yeah so basically in the end you guys want to sp save up your tokens as much as possible make sure that you're getting every single star token for each special event every day open up as many boxes as possible and don't worry over time your legendary chance is going to increase incrementally and you're going to end up getting them done so stay tough take advantage of the offers inside of the shop get those key doublers whenever you can and that's how you're going to be able to get them done all right so we want to make sure to use these brawlers and show off the legendary brawlers today let's go and get into our very first match of using spike right now so we're going to go ahead and kick this off with Spike, guys, who is one of my favorite brawlers inside of the entire game. If you saw a recent video I actually posted on Spike, I ranked him as my number two brawler inside of the entire game. Obviously, the number one is Leon, who's the newest brawler, who's still broken after that first nerf right there. But Spike is definitely super good, and I really expect a lot of people to want to use him. All right, well, I charged up my super a bit. That honestly wasn't very smart for me. We've got a, a Jesse and a, and a Barley. So no one who's really going to be a gem collector inside of this one. Looks like they're, uh, they're going to actually end up getting Jesse these turret already Ooh. or pam's turret sorry already looking a, pr a little bit brutal right now and i really have to stay away from this barley or else we're going to be in for a pretty bad time so i'm just trying to heal right now i'm just trying to heal as much as i can let's go and throw our super forward right now gonna start spamming we'll probably kill that pam inside of all of our stuff look at that super actually end up getting so close to killing that pam but meanwhile their rico is decimating our entire soul and our entire will to live guys i'm going to continue throwing our spike shots we'll end up killing that rico shay but Leon is proving to be too good for us and we need our Barley to end up putting in some work. Now with Spike, obviously he's very strong at close range. He's good against tank. He's good at a range. Looks like they've got still this Pam up right now trying to continue doing what we're doing. Please kill. Oh, good job against that Ricochet. If we kill the Ricochet, I think we're going to win uh, pretty well. They have Leon with all of their gems, which is good for us. That makes it to where we can do some pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go and throw a super in, but I got blasted by that Pam. That's bad on me to get blasted by that Pam. I'm going to lose my gems and now Pam is stacked up with 10 gems right there. Looks like we were able to get a kill in at least knock some of them out of there leon actually got assassinated what in the world is going on okay leave those gems that's okay we still have eight right here and we can end up re recalibrating where we were i'm gonna explode that ricochet and we are so close to certain victory guys just a little bit more throwing my super Ooh, i need to survive we've got nine gems just one more is gonna get it done for us i'm gonna let them take this next gem right here i don't need it right now guys i don't need it uh, need it sounds like Nita, but that's fine. Really great turret from Jesse. Our, our Jesse playing so aggressively, which is perfect. We've got 10 gems. I'm going to hit their Leon with the shot right there, and this is going to be GG well played. Beautifully done. The Ricochet unable to take us out right now. Great job from our Barley. I think our Barley started a little bit slow and then picked it up towards the end. Rico's going to shoot like he's been having too many uh, drinks. And that's gonna be the end of that one, guys, for GG well played using Spike. And, and Spike's just a total beast. One of the best brawlers in the game right now. Definitely if I had to choose a legendary to play, Okay, Leon's broken, but I feel like he's going to be nerfed. But anyways, really strong victory right there with Spike. Let's go ahead and hop into our next legendary brawler right now. 
Now let's go ahead and hop into some gem grab with our second legendary brawler inside of Brawl Stars, guys, and that's gonna be Crow. Crow's so much fun to play. Honestly, Crow, with his attack, actually does damage over time. It poisons your opponents, and it makes it so it's really difficult for them to start healing again. Crow is really squishy, so if we get hit by these Brocks and uh, these, these Piper shots, we're gonna end up getting smacked right here. Let me go ahead and keep poisoning right now. Piper's running forward like a savage, but I'm not gonna be able to do much else to her. I'm gonna, oh, I missed that Brock poison right there, or else I would've been clutch. And uh, let's just go ahead and run on in. Ooh, that poke is gonna kill me though. I'm so squishy that it's a little bit tough for me to do. Okay, when I get my super with Crow, what I'm gonna be able to get done is to jump right into our opponents and be able to put in some work. Let's go and start poisoning down this Brock right here. I'm actually gonna run in right now and just go crazy. Uh, looks like we weren't able to actually get a kill right there and their pre or their Poco is gonna be able to bring them back alive. And so far, this is looking a little bit rough for us. And we've gotta figure out a way to get this done. Honestly, these range brawlers like, uh, like, uh, who is it? Like Brock and uh, like P uh, and Piper do so much damage that sometimes it can be difficult for us to deal with. Plus, having that Poco to heal them up, yeah, it's just a little bit tough right now. We have to be really accurate in uh, in our shots right now. And I'm not talking about rockets, but speaking of accurate shots, that's gonna be so much damage. A dead Brock going down. We have ten gems already. This game is so easy. Since the Dynamite has ten gems, I can go ahead and just play aggressive right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump in for this Poco. Go a little bit wild right there, just distracting him since we have plenty of time left on the clock. And guys, unless our Dynamite Mike's an idiot, which he isn't. He's playing perfectly by playing nice and safe right there. That's gonna be GG well played. Let's go and slap that Piper, and that's gonna be the end of the match. Crow, obviously a very support-like uh, brawler. You don't wanna be too aggressive with Crow unless you know you for sure have the advantage, but just use Crow to poke away at your opponent, take down a little bit of their damage, and that's how you end up stealing a win. Let's go and get into our final legendary brawler. And do you have any guesses who it is? Ah, my viewers, you guys are smart. Of course, it's Leon as the final legendary brawler inside of Brawl Stars. He is so ridiculously good. If you guys didn't play the game before it was global, Leon came out and he was even better than he is right now. But now he's wildly regarded as the number one brawler inside of Brawl Stars right now. And basically with Leon, the, the closer you are to your opponent, the more damage that you do. And oh, uh, isn't it convenient that his super ability makes you go invisible so you can go and decimate your opponent. So basically with Leon, you wanna work to charge up his super as quickly as you can, then go invisible, then get to your opponents, blow their brains out, and then repeat over and over and over again. It's basically as simple as that. All right, looks like everyone's scared to face against a Leon. I understand how it is. I think I'm at like 500 trophies with them. So we're definitely playing with some really, really good opponents. Looks like we're going against a Primo, a Mortis, and a Poco. Actually really like my odds of going against specifically the Mortis and the uh, Primo, we should be able to get some crazy work done. Let's just go ahead and start uh, charging up our super right now. And I'm gonna need to protect our, uh, our homies nearby. All right, look at this, look at this Mortis. We just did 2,800 damage with one shot right there. I'm gonna go ahead and blow up that Primo. It looks like we'll be able to kill. It's a one for one trade. However, we did lose um, a, we did lose control of the gem mine, which is crucial. What I need to do now is kill this Poco and I need, I need us to really use our, um, our range advantage inside of this matchup. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blowing up this Primo once again, guys. And now I'm gonna go invisible. I'm gonna let this Nita go ahead and run on through. Uh, this is a little bit rough, because yeah, I guess I'll just kill this Mortis right here. Hmm, it's not exactly what I wanted. We need to find a way to get onto this, uh, to get onto this beautiful, uh, Poco to be able to really do stuff. But guys, look at the damage I'm dealing out right now. It's sick how much damage I get done. We're gonna go ahead and get control of the gem mine right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start blowing up this Mortis right here. One more hit, please. Not gonna be able to get it done in time. The Poco heal did come through, but we do have four gems. And I'm just, wait, guys, once I use this super, I'm gonna crush this Poco. I just need to make sure that none of them are too close. Boom! Look at that. Look at that guy get assassinated. It looks like our Barley's going in. Please kill that Mortis. Please kill that Mortis. I killed the... I killed the Poco with my super, but of course, Mortis is so quick that he was able to pick up the gems. Let's go ahead and go invisible again, guys. Gonna find our way to this Mortis. And guess who's gonna be our lucky contestant of the... Okay, wait, that was a little bit bad right there. Wait, oh, Primo has all those... What in the world is going on right there? Primo somehow got all the gems. I'm gonna go ahead and keep collecting. Looks like I'm gonna be the gem carrier and we can just keep these guys at bay. We have eight gems right now. What are you doing? Mortis is gonna get obliterated and with 10 gems, the whole match falls on me. And you know what we can do? We can just go invisible whenever we need to and run away from these guys. I'm pretty sure... I think when we're invisible, they can't really see us, guys. So guess what we're gonna do right now? We're just gonna run all all the way across the map. You call this one a touchdown, guys. What are you doing? What are you doing, Prima? <laughs> That's all you have to do to win the game. Leon is just so ridiculously good inside of Brawl Stars, guys. Very easy dub for us. We didn't end up getting the star player, but that's not what counted. We just ended up killing everyone. We got the gems, and at that point, there was really nothing else to do. Spam your auto attack with Leon when they get to close range. Get a bunch of trophies and spend it all, make it rain, and have a good time inside of Brawl Stars. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. If you guys wanna get your own set of legendary brawlers, make sure you're checking out the shop for the special offers or saving up your tokens and getting your star chests as much as you can. 
Of course, if you guys haven't subscribed or hit that bell already, please do so. I know a lot of you guys want to catch every single one of my videos and YouTube doesn't show them to you unless you smack that bell and turn on notifications. So get that done and show some love to your chief. If you guys are nice, if I hit a if I hit 2,000 likes in this video, inside of the next one, I'll show you guys Chief Cat. That's gonna do it for this episode. Until next.